Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Swarner here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily add an LCD screen to your RepRap um, ramps and Arduino 3D printer, so let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do is deal with hardware. You're going to take that little PCB board you got and line up the connections with the connections on the end of your ramps board. It's really simple and straightforward. You basically just pop it on into place. Just make sure you don't bend any pins and line everything up correctly, but that is it. Then you're going to take the two cables that came with the um, LCD screen and you're going to plug them into the slots on the end of the ramps board. Doesn't matter which direction, um, as long as you fit them in the correct way. They should fit in nicely and lock into place when you've uh, pushed them in correctly. Be sure not to push too hard on the PCB on the end because you don't want to damage anything. It should fit in there nicely, but you don't have to apply a lot of pressure. Then plug the other end into the back of the LCD screen. This is really easily uh, easy to do because there's only one way you can put them in. If, if your LCD screen doesn't light up like mine, just flip flop the cables and uh, it'll light up once it has power. Alright, so once you've done that, we're going to head over to the computer and you're going to open up your Arduino software. And in Arduino, you're going to basically find your Marlin file and open that up. Um, under Marlin, just open up the configuration H file. I assume that you at least know how to do this. Um, if not, I can potentially show you in another video, but more than likely if you are upgrading your 3D printer and you have a uh, 3D printer that's using ramps and Arduino, hopefully you know how to at least open up this file. Um, again, if you don't, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to show you how to do so. So once you have that open, again, go over to the Configuration H tab and you're going to scroll down to uh, the section near the bottom where it says Additional Features. Under Additional Features, you are looking for LCD and SD support. And under this, basically, you're going to scroll down and find the LCD screen that you have. Hopefully, the manufacturer told you. If you use the one I placed in the description or the one I have, it's right there. It is the RepRap Discount Full Graphic. Uh, I can't even read the rest of it, but that's the one right there. And basically, there's going to be two forward slashes in front of it, um, as there is in front of all the other ones. That basically means that it's commented out and not enabled. And to enable it, all you got to do is backspace twice until you see it turns bold, basically meaning you've enabled the uh, LCD screen. On top of that, if there is a link like the one on mine on top of it, click that link, which will take you to a GitHub. Once you're here, just go ahead and download the zip file as I did, and make sure you download it somewhere where you can easily find it. I placed mine on, on the desktop for simplicity. And over in your Arduino software, go under Sketch, go under Include Library, and Add Zip Library. Once you've done that, this folder will open up and you're basically going to browse to wherever it is that you saved that file you just downloaded. Again, mine's on the desktop for simplicity and click open. You should get a little status basically saying that it was successfully added. Now, last thing to do is if you do have an SD support or SD card on your LCD screen and you want to enable that so you can print directly from the screen, um, look for SD support and do the same thing you just did basically, which is uh, delete those two forward slashes and it has been activated. And uh, once you've done that, you're good to go. You can go ahead and go up to tools, make sure the board is correct. Again, the Arduino and Mega combo, the uh, processor uh, as it is here, as well as the port. I have a couple ports because I have a couple printers hooked up, but uh, COM4 is the one I'm looking for. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and send the code over and you are good to go. So once you go back to your printer, you should be greeted with this and you have successfully flashed and uh, basically now have LCD support and SD card reading. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions at all or anything like that and I'll do my best to answer. And then also if you have any issues, um, some versions of Marlin, if you get them from the factory, don't actually have that LCD and SD support on the bottom of the code. If that's the case, all I did here was basically open up another version of Marlin. Um, so I have on the left side was the um, version of Marlin I got from the company that sent it to me or gave it to me with the printer and on the right side I have a clean copy of Marlin. All you got to do basically is copy over the different variables um, such as the end stops and the um, dimensions of the bed and extruders and, and things like that which really isn't that hard to do. It should take five to ten minutes and then once you get down to the LCD and SD support do what I just showed you and that way you will have LCD and SD support if you have a version of Marlin that is not compatible with that. So anyways on that uh, note I will end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Dope Swanner and I'm out. Peace guys.